What is up, guys? Wild High 77 back with you for another exciting episode of Fallout New Vegas. When last we left off, we were trying to help our little buddy get away from uh, the drug people. The uh, Great Cons. And we just found out that the, uh, the followers of the Apocalypse will accept him in as a scribe so he is about to chit a world changing event because chuck's a nice guy and likes little kids okay that sounded completely wrong hey yow amber pokety pokety <laughs> oh this is gonna suck Yeah, there we go. Careful now. She pokety pokety. Amber, did you pokety pokey? She took my leg away. She pokety pokety. Pokety pokety. It's the great cons. It's the great cons, Charlie Brown. Where you at, kid? You in here? Jerry the Punk, what's up? Uh, followers have agreed to take you on as a member. Head to the old Mormon fort. He did? Oh, that's great. Thank you. I'm out of this crummy camp. And that gained us a level. Look at that. That quick. Just from doing that. Let's put medicine up. Survival up. Energy weapons, explosives, barter. Cool. This is still stealing. I'm not allowed to mess with shit. I can make shit betting. Oh. You gonna leave? Oh, I'm gonna make it daylight. You don't mind, right? You still haven't left yet, kid? Shame. Morning. Morning. Let's take a look at our quests. I guess it's time to look at this one. Yeah. Let's we'll start at Neil's shack and work our way. I didn't know, because we don't have the money. Is it on the map? If it's on the map, you should be able to move on to it. Huh. I am still dressed as a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. I hear music. <laughs> Holy shit, hi! Load it up. You're dead now, Nightkin. You had nothing I wanted. Reload. 
I gotta get my weapon repaired. It is not doing so hot. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at weapon what I have for weapons. The plasma defender damage is really low. Ooh, that's not well either. We'll go with that. Cool. Yep. Radiation. But I have discovered Black Mountain. Good. Good for me. Hey, I got two of them. grenades. Yeah, you had ammo. There's another one. Where'd he go? I mean, we're doing pretty alright. We're getting there. We're making the travels. She had the poopies, but she couldn't do it until we got home. I don't see anybody. I don't see them. Up oh, there we go. Got a couple markers over here. There they are. Holy shit, you move fast. Both of them. Two down. And this guy. Holy shit. He was hiding one. I hear more. Where? Where the fuck did you come from now? And they're all masters. How great is this? More rounds. Excellent. Reload. Ay, ay, ay. Radiation, radiation, radiation. Keep a steady eye. Holy shit. That's a big hole to nowhere. There's an enemy nearby. There he is. I'm going to put you in that hole. You don't mind, right? Hey. 
Were you hanging in this place? You were hanging in this place. A trunk! Look, I don't need a reminder of how I'm dressed. Well, they keep telling me I'm dressed like a Brotherhood of Steel member. Yeah, I'm wearing power armor. Yeah, in this game, uh, siding with particular factions can be bad with other factions. Depending on how those factions get along. I hear heavy growling. Makeshift beds that I'm not allowed to use. Got a shit ton of money out of this, though. Right on. It was smart of me to come in here. Neil. I wasn't surprised to see you made it. I'm ready to get started if you are. Let's do Here's it. The, plan. the gate to Tabitha's compound is guarded by several Nightkin, all of them using devices that make them invisible. I'm going to draw them away from the gate by telling them I spotted an intruder in the village. Then you slip in. Okay. I'll make that work. Good luck. We're going to need it. It's not going to work if you're stuck on a rock, dude. There you go. Yeah. Everybody's a master. Why can't I be a master? What the hell? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Ouch. He's gone. No shooting rockets at me, you little dick. Dick hair? Sure. That's what we'll call him, a dick hair. To a dick? Oh. Well, dicks can be very different colors. All right, so where's she at? Wasn't that hard, we got it. But you know what I do need to do? I need to heal. I took some serious damn damage. Don't really need an egg timer. Appreciate it though. Put this away. There we go. Just checking the perimeter. Cool, I made it in. With little to no damage. <laughs> I 
believe it's yeah, I gotta go. Check around. Nine millimeter rounds. Terminal easy. We will hack an easy, sure. Why not? Dead removed. Numbers. Got it. Okay. Logs. 672. We've been picking up a lot of activity from China's satellite network. The tension is pretty high around here. Frank's been talking about securing a place in one of the vaults for himself and his family. And when he didn't show up to work yesterday, I think we all know where he went. 674. Oh my god, it's actually happening. We have readings across the board of launches happening everywhere. They must have thrown everything they had, and it looks like we didn't hold back either. The computer says we have two minutes until the first missile drops. I can barely type mountain shielded us from the worst of the blast, but there's too much rad D. Wow, I can't believe these old machines still work. This place looks pretty defensible, and the radiation should keep the majority of people away. Looks like we found a home, at least for now. First things first, though, we got to get these corpses out of here. Poor bastards. Marcus. All right, so who's Marcus? Scrap metal. Some crazy noises and sounds everywhere. Another easy lock terminal. Got it. Priest. Marcus made me type this. <clears throat> The leader of this community, Marcus, said I should start keeping a journal to get my mind off of Rhonda. He also said I might find something interesting inside this stupid old building. What could possibly interest it, be interesting here? The only thing that works in here is this junky old terminal. It's amazing. This place is a radio station. If we can get it repaired, we could broadcast music across the waste. Just like Rhonda and I used to listen to. Ah, oh, Rhonda. How I wish you hadn't gone away. I asked all of these mutants here for help, but none of them could do anything for you, which makes me doubt they can fix this place. The radio station is fixed, and we've begun sending out, sending our message into the desert. Marcus thinks I spent too much time in here, but what does a first gen know? Rhonda says they're just one step from dum dums, and I agree. There was a fight in the yard yesterday between some of us and the first gens. Marcus made a speech about how we need to work together, but why should we? We were the master's favorites. We don't need their help. Rhonda says we are better off without them. Marcus and the others left today. Finally, we have the whole place to ourselves. No more listening to lectures about what we can and can't say on the air. The airways will be free. Now Rhonda and I will can host our own radio show like we've always like we've been planning. I don't know why Marcus always refused to let us do it before. He always start uh, started getting real nervous when I told him what Rhonda thought about things. Rhonda says he was afraid she was too smart to control. Anyway, this is the start of a new era. 
The only downside is the is most of the dum dums choose to stay. Safe. Finally got Ryle to finish installing the security measures on my door. Now I can have all the privacy I want. Just in case I have a dum dum moment, I've placed a spare key under the stairs behind the behind my building. No one will ever no one ever goes back there behind the buildings. No one ever goes back there. Oh my god, why am I cross eyeing a second? There you go. No one ever goes back there. So it should be safe from discovery. Lucky. Great news, a ghoul entered a ca our camp today who is, has experience fixing machines. He seems to really like it here, so I hope he can stay long enough to fix Rhonda. Weird, Rhonda just asked me why she would need fixing. She has a point. What was I thinking? Okay, who the hell's Rhonda? Is, it, is the machine Rhonda? Help me, Rhonda. Help me get her ooh, tool cabinet. I already looked at it. Ah, there's the door. What's the matter? Shame on you. Here we go. I found the intruder. Holy shit, where'd my gun go? It broke. I have foreseen your death. Okay, Tabitha, I wasn't gonna kill you, but you kinda left me no choice. Wasn't interested in killing you, but you kind of left me no choice. I'll take it all. It's all mine. Take music sheet. A hell of a lot easier than it should have been. Storage building. Completed a quest. Oh my god, what the hell is this? I thought it's nuts. Treasure hunt. Ah. I mean, it looks like I'm gonna get a whole bunch of shit in here. I am absolutely okay with that. Oh wait, I saw Sunset Sarsaparilla need it. Wonder glue. What is the secret of your power? Burning. Vending machine of Nuka Cola. Broken, Mr. Handy. Hello. Could you please direct me to Mistress Tabitha? I hate to tell you, but she's dead. And I suppose you're taking credit for the deed, Fiend? I will avenge her. Ow. Oh. Oh, it's Rhonda. Holy shit. I really didn't want to do that to you, Rhonda. I just want you to know that. 
I didn't waste my time repairing you to kill you. Found a Nuka Cola victory. Suitcase. Place is not as well stocked as I was originally hoping. Oh my god. Not just rounds. Damaged garden gnomes. Okay. What are you laughing at? The mannequin with the uh, road cones on its head? It's not like there's a whole lot to do in the zombie, or the, uh, yeah, zombie, the uh, nuclear apocalypse, you know what I mean? Uh, Black Mountain, Submatrix, System Online, Entry 1. As if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Tabitha wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. So here's my first log entry. I fixed up several old terminals that were left over in the intact buildings here. I wonder what she's planning to use them for. Apparently the mutants raided a car uh, caravan today. One of their rifles jammed. It took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could ha have just pulled a switch there and taken this accursed station off the air. No doubt she would have killed me soon afterwards, but it might have been worth it just to see the look on her face. The mutant with the scar across his face, whom I've taken to calling Cuddles, stopped in today and asked me to fix his car. I told him that's out, outside my expertise and seriously thought he was going to kill me. Trying to escape today, Tabitha had one of her men beat me senseless when they caught me. Now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not working on something. Oh, and I fixed the toaster. <laughs> Cuddles came in about his car again. He even brought a container of gas and asked if, I, if that would help. I tried to tell him that gas was not the problem. But he got really angry and dragged me outside. Tabitha killed him herself before things got too ugly. At least I don't have to hear about his damn car anymore. Tabitha came in today and said she's concerned about my safety. She's insisted that I change the lock on my door to require a password using one of the other computers I fixed. I'm really starting to regret ever fixing those. The password is 12345678 like anyone who cares will ever read this. Well, it's a good thing I looked at this. Disengage lock. I see that was a very hard terminal before. What's up, Raul? So can I go now? What do you mean took me long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on myself is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. So since the door's open and all, can I go now? It's okay by me. Enjoy your freedom. Then. I'll just head out, alone, by myself, into the dangerous waste. Actually, do you want to tag along with me? Anything's better than staying here. Let's go. Regular maintenance perk. Okay, cool. I've got a new friend. So I worked in here for a friend. Look at that. Things are nice. What else you got in here? I hope you weren't peeing and pooping in that. Uh, take an hour nap just because, you know... It's cheaper than uh, stim packs. Nothing else in here worth a shit. So you were really the whole reason I came here. 
was to get you out. Hi. Nicely done, Raul. Yikes, there's more. And you're fucking them up. Excellent. And I get the experience points. I'm down with that. Yep. He kills them and I get experience points for it. I'm down. You do that. Do you, man. Uh, let's take a look at the quests that we have now. Ah, track down Ulysses at the temple. I'm not ready for that yet. This I'll do. No. Guess we'll go that way. Hopefully they don't have an issue with my buddy here. I think they should put my gun away. What? Well, I'll shut it off then. So, delete it then. I'm about to delete both of them because I don't play them. Till I get ready to play them again. <laughs> That's what I do. Play them till I get bored with them. What the hell? Oh, I know why. Okay, we're not enemies with them anymore. We can stop. What the hell is attacking me? We're okay on Stimpaks. Dude, I who's attacking? We don't have any. Dude, this dude's just running around hey. killing every. Medex reserves empty. Hi, Amber. Oh my God. Hi, Amber. Bad guys dealt with. We didn't have any bad guys. Dude, I should kill you. So, trying to remember where I'm going. I got a hurt limb and I've got radiation galore. I think it was this way I was supposed to go. We won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Good to know. The fuck is dickhead? Excuse me. I guess he's in one of these beds over here. Patrol in the Mahat. Sure it does. There he is. Evening. What's up, dude? It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? 
I want to talk to you about the boomers. I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? Boomers have agreed to help us. Excellent work. I can't tell you how useful that will be. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. The NCR likes me. Well, that'll rest me up. <laughs> Excellente. You know what? Um, there, finally. Clear out my radiation. I'm all good to go again. Hey, it's good to have a friend of the. You mentioned another assignment? So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Well, obviously. Yeah, it's I'm inclined a slum. to agree, but it's a slum with NCR citizens in it. And as such, it falls under my jurisdiction. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? I'll look into it. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. If I can't just kill him, what do you want me to do? Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs, and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. I'll try I'm to sure find a way. something will turn up. If you think you found something but are unsure, report back, and I'll let you know if it's something we can use. It may be tough to find a way to completely throw off suspicion, however. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with. Diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang. A man who calls himself the king. Tell me about him. He's Caucasian, in his mid-thirties, and extremely charismatic. It's that last part we're counting on. The kings are a bunch of young hoodlums who aren't inclined to listen to anyone except him. Get him on your side, and the rest will fall in line. What would I need Go to do? Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here, and we'll take it from there. I'll go have a talk with the king. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Nope, I'm going to talk to the king because I know what I get for doing King Gambit. And I want that. So I can get rid of Raul. Can't believe you guys destro you destroyed a whole bunch of fucking Securitrons. But, I mean, I'll take the ammunition. Not only did it destroy them, he made short work of them, too. Look at this. You okay, boss? No violence is permitted on the strip. Good Take to know. Like ghouls into the strip now. You ran up to me to say that? You're a dick. 
He's a friend of mine. You can be nice. At least nobody wants to kill me here. Pick up that scrap metal. Activate magazine vending machine. Lad's life. I don't think I've ever noticed this before. That's cool. Welcome to Vegas. Oh, good. Looks like pretty much everything that happened here is no longer a problem here. Except for the dead Securitrons, which I'm sure will respawn. I'm almost certain they will. At least I hope they will, because if not, that kind of sucks. Hi guys, don't mind me. Thank you for You're welcome. Alright, let's go find the kings. This would be mom's favorite part of the game. Yep, this is it. A school of impersonation. And who do you think they're impersonating? If you're not sure. Let me go meet the king. And you tell me who they're impersonating. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? Hey, Pacer. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Yeah, I'd like to see the Anything's king of fossils. possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? I'm new in town, and I just want to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king is the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. All right, now. Who do you think the king is? Baby. Who do you think, do you the king think is? is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Boros? Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. What can I do for you? I need you to stop the violence against NCR citizens at freestyle. So, so I'm supposed to just start giving in to the demands of random strangers that come in here, huh? I don't think so. You want something from me? You're going to have to earn it. It just so happens that I got a few things I need taken care of. So, what do you say? Sure. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Yeah. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh. And take this to cover the hiring cost. He gave me 200 bottle caps. Uh, data, quest, GI yeah, Blues. There's we'll handle. Going into the lucky 38 to talk to yeah, there's talks, but I wonder who it was. Oh, wait.
That's bullshit. All right, so. So yeah, the king is a impersonation. He's an impersonation of the uh, infamous 50s rock star that gets seen a lot in Vegas as impersonators. What's up, Osiris? You need to cross free size. No one will keep you safer than I will. How much is your service? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Okay, let's do it. Done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Let's do it. Aha. Put my gun away. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. Up uh, ahead I'm on the sure. next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. If they don't outnumber you five to one, you'll be... Yeah, he's calling them a bunch of fucking ganging pussies. Where's he at? There he is. Down to the right here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Mm hmm. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. I'm paying 200 caps for you to walk me around. In a neighborhood I've already walked around in, by the way. other hacks you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now well, I'm still going to be hey you only fired three shots and there are four guys there notice that did you I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him or you think the whole thing to drum up repeats to uh, repeat That's to an interesting the... theory you've got there I'd suggest you keep it to yourself let's get moving I want all the money you have on you. I could make it to the kings from here. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here. But you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back. Out of your hide if I have to. You making threats like that? Takes too long for this gun to load. That's all. We'll just dig through. Everybody that's got something, maybe worth something. Looks like the only one would be Osiris. I'll take your metal armor too. Thanks, boss. Good hanging with you. What's in the dumpster? What's in the box? He tried to be all slick with me. It didn't work. Alright, back to the kings. Which, if you notice, their little king patch on the back. That's always fun. Let me stand in a car that blowed away. Yay!
In I go. Oh, Mr. The King. What do you have for me? Osiris shouldn't be a problem any longer. Ah, so it went down like that, huh? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, you're not subtle, but you get the job done. That's good enough for me. Maybe you can help me with something more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. I'll head over right Good. away. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some. Okay. Now we go handle this. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? You talking to me? Nice to see a human palling around with a ghoul. I see a lot of people around here avoid him. Well, good. I'm glad you like that. Personal hygiene mean anything to you? Just saying. Vicky advances casino. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Would love to. Where are they? Actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think they're not far away from here. Before I go to the Mormon Ford, I should go and get some of my weapons repaired. If I can. Pioneer Cafe. There's Mick and Ralph's. What is Looking up, Dixon? Fix, man. I got what you need. What are you selling? Nothing I'm interested in. Bye. Making enough noise over there? <laughs> this lady here. Hey, what can I get you? Followers are looking to set up a deal. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. You could check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the atomic. They've got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. You offer any other services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Impress him and we can talk. The resourceful fellow such as yourself must have something on the side. All right. Yeah, I've got a little side business going. What I'm about to share with you does not... Over the years, I've gradually perfected my craft to the point of perfection. No one can distinguish between my work and the real thing. What I'm referring to is passports. If you've got the caps, I can whip up a strip passport which will fool even the most well-trained eye. Oh, now I see why you keep the Hey, if you're interested and have the caps, they go for 500. Any less and it ain't worth the risk of getting caught. What do you say? You game? Mm. I've already got enough credits no to pass. If you need one later, just stop in. Okay. Bye. I think it's the other guy I gotta talk to. Welcome back. Hey. I need some shit repaired. You cannot repair. Ah, damn. I need monies. Well, I guess repair that. Repair that. Repair that. Repair that. What you got for sale? 
What do I got that I could sell you? I could sell you that shit. You can have a lunchbox for your war money. Scrap metal. <laughs> what the hell was that? Did not. <laughs> not willing to give those up yet. Pleasure doing business with you. I'm sure it is. Bye. I need more monies. Now I also got to find the Atomic Wrangler at some point, so I got to keep an eye out for that. If I see that. Sure, Who do you think so. is cuter, Dr. Klein or Dr. Burroughs? Do I really have to choose? I mean, seriously, I find them both dreamy. Of course, I'm kidding. I don't even know who she's talking about. Actually, no, I do know who she's talking about. She's talking about the uh, crazy-eyed robots from Big Mountain. Hello there. He's kind of drunk. Did you hear the way he said that? Hello there. Hi guys. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? King sent me to ask you to look into your attack. Oh. That's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. You tell me about the deck? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. <coughs> the kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. The kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Do you remember anything about the people they who attacked big you? guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at him. Have to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Got it. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. That true? Did the king really send you? He did, and anything you could tell me that happened might help. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Every little bit helps, thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. He probably you got it. Lieutenant. Okay. All right, let's see here. I'll pop back out. Now it's giving me the option of going back to the king and telling him what I found. So I can go and, you know, he'll say thank you, thank you very much. But... Nope, that's exactly what I gotta do. I gotta go back and tell him what I found. <laughs> Take a look. Who are you standing out here all by your lonesome? 
Tapper. The king controls the water pump. If you want water, you need to pay like everyone else. And how much? Just a few. Never mind. Time to go. Good name, by the way, though. Tapper. And you sell water from a tap. And your name is Tapper. I totally get the irony in it. Excellent, excellent job. Alright, off we go. Back to this side of Freeside. Still looking for the Atomic Wrangler. Let's see, that's the King's Hall there, and then nothing there. I think the Atomic Wrangler is right there. We're going to go visit them real quick. I want to see if I can take care of the Mormon people, uh, the Fort Mormon people. Why don't you make yourself some hot tea? Howdy. Howdy. I hear boss. Benny got force fed a little slice of heaven. Man, what I would have paid to see that loathsome little weasel eat it. Followers need to find someone to trade with for supplies. Really now? This is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Pure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. I might be able to work something good. out. We can supply them with all the med they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. You need any work got done? the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. If you can recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities, I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? The wealthiest about? client has a thing for ghouls and a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay extra for a swab talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. If you ever run across a sex bot, not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. See if I run across them. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. I could use some help with my reputation. Right caps, I might be able to put in a good word or let people know you're not such a bad guy. What do you have in mind? Uh, I need people to forget about things I've done. All right, I can chat you up, but it's going to cost you. I'm not risking my rep. Sure. It'll do nicely. I'll spin some stories about how you stopped a mugging or two and saved a kid's pet rat from certain doom. Bye. Hey, Actually, let me see. There was something about the sex spot. The Any best idea? The place to start would be with Ralph at Mick and Ralph's over on the east end of Freeside. Other than that, your guess is as good as mine. Later. All right, cool. So now I know I got to go back to the king. I got to keep an eye out for a cowboy, a cowboy ghoul, a sex robot, and a boyfriend type. That shouldn't be too hard. Those are miscellaneous quests, though. They don't really matter all that much. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? 
Local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by Bunch rank. Of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas. But now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Hey. All right. Well, I'm going to do the uh, optional quest of talking to Julie first. And the reason of being is because I gotta let them know about the Atomic Wrangler anyway. Kills two birds, one stone. So? If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph. I'm sure it can. How's it going? It's a going. Not sure where it's going to, but it's a going. I know there's a cowboy ghoul here. Right there. Howdy. That's the question. Let's talk about something else. I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers is a gun for hire, but it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docks are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. What are you doing with the followers? I joined followers? up looking for a decent paying job. Granted, the pay's all right, but they won't let me kick back and slog a brew at the end of the day. They're worried the filthy drunkies in detox seeing me drink will cause an immediate relapse. I say their rehab effort here is just a revolving door. Bet you've seen a lot over here. long enough to observe the patterns of human behavior, physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Sounds like you're a bit of a dom. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? Interested in working for the guards? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? This would be an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. Uh, when I say escort, I mean... I'm all boot, knives, and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Turns out there are customers looking for someone just like Weirdos you. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to some penny ante hustler like he owns me. One of the employee perks is a discount. Ah, uh, you're you'd be an independent with a deep discount on the booze, maybe. Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers, if I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Tell the Garretts I'll stop by to work out terms. Cool. Goodbye. Talk to you later. All right, that was one I knew I had to get. Now let's see. Julie's right there. Hey, good to see you. Nice to see you. I think I found someone to be able to cover your supplies. That's phenomenal. Who did you find? The Garrett twins. They supply Freeside with drugs and liquor. From my point of view, they're just better organized pushers. Upgrading their stills would increase their supply of liquor and chems. How does that help Freeside? You get your chems and can help anyone who gets addicted.
With surplus and supplies, you could use your caps and influence to expand. Good point. We wouldn't be paying anything for their supplies, just a portion of our food waste to make ethanol. We get food from nearby wasteland farmers in exchange for medical services, so we could put our caps back into helping Freeside. Tell the Garretts we'll keep their stills running if they provide us with supplies. Thank you for arranging this. You've been a godsend. All right. Hmm. What do I got? Great. Never mind. The only thing about the NCR soldiers here in Freeside. A, a friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? King thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Yeah, that fucking haircut of yours. Goodbye. All right. Follow her guard. Uh, let's pull up the map. One just outside the gun runners. They're all outside. They all gotta be. All right. Doesn't matter. I know where I gotta go. I think I know where I gotta go. I'm pretty sure I know where I gotta go. I think I know where I gotta go. Hey. That one's in here. Yeah. <laughs> where you gotta go? Chewies? Chewies slices? I want my chewies. Okay. Open to the old Mormon fort. I don't think I've ever actually walked in here. This might be a new experience right here. Thank you. Go get your stuff, shall we? Unfortunately, everything in here would be stealing. Oh. I have an option to kill Pacer. That's neat. Magazine. Sure, boss. The old man will crawl around in the dirt to keep hidden. You know, I just realized something. The ghoul following me around sounds an awful lot like the dude who does the. Oh my god. I found a snow globe. Uh, dude from Machete. Peter hit me with a football. That guy? Yeah. I don't remember his name, but I just realized when he talked to me a second ago, he sounded an awful lot like him. Same inflections and everything. Hello. Someone entered the Lucky 38. That's never happened before. Take a quick look around. You know what? I don't need to play with that. Let's go. 
That's cool. I found a snow globe. One I've never found in this game before because I never even knew I could walk in there. Couple places all around. Why do I hear a bunch of eggs? Hear a bunch of crazy noises. really anything in here anymore but we'll take a look fortunately this is stealing although it shouldn't be I killed all these guys Nothing of interest. I don't think there's anybody here anymore. These beds are owned. What was in the bucket? Beer. I could pick up some cans. What's funny is, even though it's all still marked red, none of it is giving me uh, negative karma for picking up, so I don't think it actually is stealing. I think it's just red because it was supposed to be red, but because I killed all the people, it's no longer an issue. I don't care about grenades. All right, now the good thing about coming in here is I did find a plasma defender. Which means I could laser pistol, plasma defender, and plasma pistol. Excellent. Excellent. Much better. Cool. Yeah, see, I'm allowed to pick all this shit up, so... Technically, I will pick it all up. It makes sense because I could sell it.
charger rifle, laser rifle. As long as I got the space to carry it, there's nothing that says I can't. First aid kit. Take it. Fuck it, it's worth just grabbing it. We got it. We're out of here. Alright. See if we can find what's going on. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the atomic wrangler. This leads me back over here. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the atomic wrangler. I'll go to the Atomic Wrangler real quick just to do this. Evening. What's up? Hey, chum. Welcome back. Spoke with Julie Fargus and she said the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here. But honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. I actually found you an escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that! What's his name and when's he start? Her name's Beatrix and she can start immediately. She, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. <laughs> Bye. Alright, that handles two of those situations. Now I want to take a look at the map. Free side. Yeah, okay. So everything I got to do is back on this side. Get this through. We're not even allowed to sell people. Only at Mick and Rouse. Only at Mick and Rouse. I'll walk over here if I can. Here we go. You look Stop, like a dude. person in need of a good meal. You wouldn't happen to be an NCR citizen, would you? Sure I am. Now, it's not that I don't believe you, but I'm going to have to give you a little quiz to verify your citizenship status. That okay with you? Lay it That's on me. a good attitude. I'm sure you'll do fine. These are just a few questions that just about anyone in the NCR would know. All right, here we go. First question. Who was the most popular president in NCR history? Peterson, Tibbet, Kimball, or Tandy? Daddy. Uh -huh. Okay, second question. What was the original name of the NCR capital? Aradesh, Shady Sands, the Boneyard, or Vault 13? Shady right. Sands. Fine, then, last question. What animal is on the NCR's flag? A two headed bear, an eagle, a two headed snake, or a two tailed lion? Two headed bear. Good. You passed with flying colors. I told you it'd be fine. I expect you're wanting to know about that meal then, huh? We're located up by the old train station in the northwest part of town. Just tell the guards hope and they'll let you through. Best of luck to you. That learned me something. Alright, so now I gotta investigate the rumors of free food. 
By the way, all those answers, with the exception of the flag, which you see throughout the game, all the other answers are from playing Fallout 1, the interplay game, for those that don't know. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph. Tandy was the daughter of the owner, Shady Sands, who wound up uh, starting uh, starting the NCR and becoming the most popular president because she was the first president of the NCR, which was born in Shady Sands, which is one of the first towns you visit in Fallout 1. Just to let you guys know. Again, it tells me to come here, and then when I come here, it tells me to go back around. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Motherfucker gets unstuck. Thank you. Follow the train tracks. I forgot. What's up, guys? Hold up. What's the password? Head on through. Thank you. What's Here the password? I hope this helps. Squatter, 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 squatter. Try to take only what you need. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Are you with the NCR military? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. You serve food to the locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you want to bring in? Yes, but I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here. Take another helping for your friend. It'll be our secret. Yes? Cool. Yes. Was there something else? Was there something else? Why don't you serve That's local? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Julie Fargus told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers. But they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. Cool. Got some information. One of them. I don't know which one. Hello. Scrabble. Moldy. Probably, if that's moldy, you probably need to throw away that uh, blueberry bread of yours, too. It's been sitting there forever. <laughs> By the way, I should have a pen on uh, my desk. Save you the dig. Huh? Okay. I knew it was there the last time I looked. That's why I said something. All right, we're getting nighttime here in the Mojave. Hey, 
Hey! Hey there. I heard that NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? <laughs> What's my silence worth to you? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. That's a good start. Right, here's some more. But you better keep your mouth shut. I'm out of here. Got some imp Uh huh. Thanks for the money. I'm still telling the king. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? The NCR is distributing supplies in the building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? They're only handing it out to NCR citizens. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said they sent someone to discuss wait the issue minute, with you. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. <laughs> that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? King. What? We've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Clean for the shop. All right, now we go get to kill. Now we get to go kill somebody. Finally, after all this time of walking back and forth, back and forth. Why don't you think of something else and put it on there? Creamy pickled chips. Wait, don't they have had them before. I did that on purpose just to have a daylight. Because I was looking. I was looking for them before. They're the ones I had it. I hear the fight. Maybe I should look at the quest just to make sure of what the king wants me to do. Head to the trade station in Northwest Freeside and try to negotiate with the NCR. We already got dead people. Dead king. Hey, sir, I should just kill him. You guys don't want to shoot me. I'm a good guy. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? The king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. It wasn't him. He didn't know what the, uh, the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Hello? All right, NCR has been defused. Good thing too, because it looks like there's a bunch of dead kings here. 
And I mean a bunch of dead kings. Hey, pal. I should kill you. I should kill you. I kind of want to kill you. I took the diplomatic way to not kill you. But if I get lucky taking that way, the king would be like, why don't you kill that faggot? Shoot him in his blue suede shoes, and I don't mean the ones on the feet. You know what I mean? There's peanut butter and banana sandwiches. There's twig and berries. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yo! I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, aim whatever you want. And if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. <laughs> I am like the preside. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Cool. Now I get a new... Uh, You're so sneaky that you can sneak even with your pit boy light on anytime the light pit boy light is on, you gain a sneak bonus to offset the light sneaky penalty. Your attacks do as much uh, much less damage to companions, allowing you to liberally spray with a reckless abandon. With the Atomic Furt, you are 25% faster and stronger whenever you are basking in the warm glow of radiation. <coughs> Guess I'll do that. Instantly raise it to 15 points. That makes medicine 100. Things have been a lot Yo. better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? I need to stop the violence with the NCR Whoa, citizens. That's a doozy. Truth be told, I don't even know if I can pull something like that off. All I'm asking is that you try. I'll give it my best. You've earned that much, but that makes us even, you hear? Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Where'd you get the robot dog? I got dog? here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. Something He's been wrong? acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything? No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. Can I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck than I did. Can I join the king? Oh, there. Not just anyone can be a king. First of all, we usually only accept people native to the area. Second, I have to approve, and I don't. You haven't shown me you've got what it takes to be a king yet. But if oh, you're really? fixing to join something fierce, stick around. If you play your cards right, things might change. So why isn't every man a Freeside in your game? We've tried to pass our philosophy on to the people of Freeside, but not everyone is ready to be a king. The kids love us, but the old timers tend to shy away and keep to themselves. And they probably couldn't pull off the look anyway. As for the others, some people just plain don't respect others. 
And that's a no-no. If there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's lack of respect. Sure thing. You tell me about Pacer. He and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately, and it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. There's only so much to go around. Oh. Had to go. You're not going to kill Pacer? I really want to shoot you. Alright, we're going to go talk to Julie real quick. Mostly because it's got to get done. I don't even think that's the quest I'm on, but that's the quest I'm taking. And that will probably end this episode because we're already coming up on two hours. I did not mean to go this long, but I don't have a problem with going this long. Just, it, just didn't expect to do so. And I want to go to Mick and Rouse too, actually. Matter of fact, before I go to Julie, I'll go to Mick and Rouse. See if I can't get that sex spot. Watch it cost me a shit ton of money. I have a feeling it's gonna. I have a feeling it's gonna. Now I'm supposed to talk to Ralph about the sex robot. Give me a split second here. What? Saying what? What was the message? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. I said to give you this. That was nice. They gave me a whole 32 caps while I was sitting there filling my vape. I heard about some things you've done around town. Nice to know someone is helping out for a change. You're not who I'm here for. Thank Where's Ralph? That was Mick. I need Ralph. Where's Ralph? There's Ralph. Right? Yeah, you're Ralph. Pimping ain't easy, huh? Maybe if you find some decent talent, I'll start visiting the Wrangler more often. Happen to know where I can find a sex bot? Are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? Garrett's are looking to satisfy a certain customer. Well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. Just watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Oh, I want to go play. Anything I'll check it out. Help you with? Bye. Good day. Good day. Where's this go? That was neat. Scrap electronics, excellent. Move, Raoul. Shame it doesn't show me where this electronic uh, place is, old. or does it? Ah, excuse me. I don't want to do that yet. I want to go there. Turn that on. Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Now that is a useful thing. Thank you very much for that. You're a gentleman and a scholar. All 
Alright, so I guess we're going to do a little extra before I go into the Mormon place here. Because one of the things I'm expected to do Come to is Mickey go Rose find that electric. Your shopping needs. This is what I want. I think I'll go this way first. Because over by Mickey Rouse, the other side of Mickey Rouse. Might be the sex spot. Do you like me? Sure, why wouldn't I? How are you today? What's up, man? Santiago is fabulous. Ah. Looking for a suave escort. Does it work? Consider me. I start immediately. Bye. Goodbye. You were the easiest one to convince. That's free side. <laughs> you trying to get my attention, boss? Yeah, you're trying to sucker me. Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. Friend of yours? Ah, just some idiot that wandered down. Over. Sneaking done. Fighting now. Over here. Over here. I guess we're doing this. That yeah, was simple. Appreciate the offer, though. Did you really try to shank me? Local, he had nothing. You guys wasted my time to try to mug me in an alley. How original. That's okay, I left some dead bodies for uh, NCR and the Kings and everybody that see and know and love and cherish. All that other crazy shit they try to do. What? I'm trying to be entertaining for the people watching the video. Desperately trying. Probably failing miserably, but de still desperately trying. Alright, I know I gotta go over this way, but before I do, I'll go to the Mormon Fort. And actually talk to Julie, because she's right here. It's in the middle of the hole where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, Excuse me. Just makes sense to go ahead and take care of that. Julie! Spiky hair, there you are. Hey, good to see you. Hey, King said you could tell me about his robotic Rex? dog. It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. King brought him here for treatment then? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't feel no, him? Or heal Rex's him? condition is way oh, beyond the world. Can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. Is there anyone that could do all that? There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Her breath. No. All right, they've been helpful. Bye. Hello. All right, so we can actually help Rex, which means we get Rex. 
Rex becomes our dog. Which I will make sure to do before this video ends. First thing is first, I've got places to go and people to kill. One leads to freestyle, the other one wants me to go around everything. Let's load up. There we go. Just to be on the safe side, we're about to take on some robots. Supposedly, or some sort of peoples that we're supposed to worry about. Where am I going? To here? Huh. That was an interesting walk. Here it is. <coughs> Let's see what this is about. Something in here is noisy. Dead rat. I'll take them. Damn, how do I keep missing the rat? Bad guys dealt with. Good job, guys. Inaccessible door. That was fun. Pilot lights, scrap electronics. Dead Protectron. Bye. I mean, it's cool to have a place to check out. Collect some supplies of some Victor. Aha. Dead animal flesh. Turbo. Good idea. Drug cell. Kind of a neat little place. So far. Bye. Another one dead. Two choices. Got it. Run diagnostic. Upload. Program sex box routine. Back. Fisto. 
Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. Yeah. That's a mouthful. Let's shorten that to Fisto. Yes, sir. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. Yeah! <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna do it. I suppose I should test you out before I hand you Servos to the garage. active. Oh, that sounds painful. I just had sex with a Operation robot. Operation complete. Thank you for your business. Well, that was different. I can't feel my legs. That all you got, robot? I will require a hardware and software upgrade to offer enhanced services. Report to the Optomic Wrangler, uh, James Garrett, is your yes, new owner. Yes, sir. I just got fucked by a robot. Like, I just want to go on record stating that. I literally just got fucked by a robot. And from what I could tell, it was a pretty painful fucking. That's the door to Freeside. Is that all that's here? That's all that's here? Okay, we are out of here. <laughs> that what we have here, ladies. Another unsuspecting pox. Sneaking oh, gun. Fighting now. Whoa, really? I got attacked by women. Over. I mean, that's hilarious. I got attacked by a bunch of old ladies. That is hilarious. What? Oh. Creepy kitty. Uh. Yeah. I don't know. Sneaking done. Fighting now. Now who's fighting me? Fighting over. Okay. Yeah, Sue can be from time to time. We're over at Mickey Rouse. Hey, Coming to talk to me? You're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Squirrel stew. Excellent. Sounds tasty. No, I would agree with that. I would definitely agree with that assessment. That it's gross. But when you live in this world, I mean, you eat what you can eat, right? Hi. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Now, I have been shunned. By the strip, so I'm going to have to see if I can repair that. Into the Atomic Wrangler. So move the cat. That prig penny had it coming. Welcome back, friend. What can I get you? I found the sex spot you're looking you for. Ah, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. <laughs> Tell me what this shit looks like. Okay? <laughs> Tell 
Thing is, Fisto's a heavy-duty piece of equipment built to last. Hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. Fisto's already programmed to respond it to is. your commands. It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. <laughs> you wanted a smooth talker for an Who escort? I found one. Santiago's your man. Honey mouth, son of a bitch. Fine. At least left to shut up occasionally. Those pretty lips of his are gonna see more traffic than a Brahmin trail in low summer. Looks like that gives us a full roster of new ass to sell. Good work. Enjoy the bonus. Excellent. Bye. And my my affinity has my fame has grown here in this shithole. Now let's go turn into the king, and then we'll finish off with turning into the uh, NCR. So we'll get all this handled all at once and make everybody fucking happy. Good, the king's still sitting there. Things have been hey. a lot better since you helped with those soldiers. Julie Fargus said uh, a man in Jacobtown could she treat said, Rex. What? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Absolutely. I'll see I you get better. Thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here if you're going to be traveling together. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient. But you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. Rex has given you the search and mark perk. Hey there. You're the king's friend, right? So now Now I've got Rex. And actually I've got two uh guys right now. But I think because Rex is still considered a uh a guest. But since he is handled, we're not going to do that one yet. I gotta return to turn in this quest, and that will be the end of this episode. <coughs> so let's go ahead and get to, I, I would say run, but there's no run command in these fallouts. We'll walk briskly to the back of the strip. Moving along. As long as you guys don't mind me, because I don't mind me. Everybody, for the most part, hates me. I'm shunned here. That should relatively change once I turn this in, though. Problem is, I gotta walk all the way there. See, I'm avoiding yes, man. Because I don't want to trigger the final events yet.
And yes, I know I'm getting close to the final event, so let's see here. Drunken NCR soldiers, always hilarious. We won't go quiet. Give me. I'm sure they can. Sup, dude? Ah, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? I wanted to talk to you about it. Yes, do you have something to report? I spoke to the king and he promised to stop the violence against the NCR citizens. That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Cool. What you give me? <laughs> I'm not going to argue that. Glad to be a service. I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The Colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. Excellent. Well, we'll put Barter up to 60. Energy weapons up to 70. And we'll put guns up guns up to 45. Now I'm expected to pick up on For the Republic Part 2. I will not be doing that. Maybe I can go talk to him. Yes, man. I thought... Alright, let's see here. Uh... Nothing but a hound dog is what I want to work on now. Which Jacobstown is all the way the fuck over there. And the closest place I've discovered to that is there. Or Vault 22. We'll fast travel to Vault 22 here. This one looks pretty tough. Oh, good. Fighting over. You guys got that? We're all good? Stay out. Plants kill. That's, you know what? We'll go ahead and see if we can't find uh, Jacobstown. This may be the worst spot in the world to go find it, though. Mm. We'll find our way over, though. Eventually. Holy shit, let's be careful. Might have to take the long way around here. There's a, my puppy! My new puppy! He's not dog meat, but he's cool. But that's alright. We're gonna discover some shit. Work our way around, see if we can't Sneaking find our way gun. to Jacobstown. I hate these fucking things. Was that all? Most evilest creation of Fallout right there. The Cazadors. I hope to Christ they never make a return in the Fallout mythos. That Bethesda Studios doesn't turn around and say, you know what, Obsidian had a great idea with those fucking fly things. Let's bring those around again. Because they were totally awesome.
awesome. The players loved them. No, no, we didn't. This may not be the way I want to go. Oh. Stay up there. Stay up there. our magic. There we go. That got me up here. Sometimes a little coercion goes a long way. Butt manipulation. Looks like I'm clipped over here. Oh my god, don't fall too far. Looks like I'm going to find a spot here to check out. Yes, I am. What is this? This looks like a good stopping point. Follower safe house. Requires a key that I do not have. But that's all right. Where does it put me on the map? Close to the road. All right. Let's go find the road because we could follow the road to Jacob Town. And the road goes through. God, let's not go. There it is. Alright, I can put my gun away. I'm not in any danger right now. Are we being watched? We might be. It is totally possible. But for now... By the way, if anybody has been trying to contact me uh, through this broadcast tonight, I did not have the chat up because my phone's half dead. So I do apologize. When the stream is over, I will read your comments, and uh, I will respond accordingly in the next episode. So have no fear. I have not been ignoring you. There's, there is a reason why. Where my setup is, I'm not near my computer where I could just pull up the uh, screen on my computer and read your guys' chats. I do it through my phone. And unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to charge my phone today before doing this broadcast. So that's why my chat wasn't up. I do apologize for that, guys. But, you know, it is how it is sometimes. Great. All right, there's somebody here. Oh, my God, it's a big horn. A big horn bull. Dealt with. Not yet. Because there was another one there. I wanted to kill him too. Alright, we did find a mine. Yeah, it's just meat. We did find a mine. Steady. Fighting. Good God, I'm level 30. Seven, almost That's thirty-eight. All. All. Is that all? I'm to think of it. I think this really is the road to Jacobstown. 
Yeah, it leads right to Jacob's Dad. So I don't even have to walk in the wilds. I can just take this road and I'm there. So we'll work our way over to Jacobstown, and that is where I'll end the video for tonight, guys. So while we're almost there, I'll say it this now. This one looks pretty tough. Really? It's a uh, cricket. Was that all? Apparently. So I'll say it now, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did in any capacity, hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you haven't done so already. Check out the other great Let's Plays from Press A Gaming, as well as all the podcasts Time from Roman Entertainment. I mean, if you guys got it, you guys got it. Uh, also, also, guys, here on Twitch.tv, if you're digging what you see, Make sure you hit that follow button so that way you'll be notified whenever we're on air with one of our great Let's Play. Time to fight. Our long plays. And also for one of our live podcasts where we interact with you each and every time you are part of our show. So thank you very much for hanging with me and I will join you on the next Fallout New Vegas as soon as it tells us that we have discovered Jacobstown, which I believe is right around this bend here. So, off we go. Uh -oh. I don't even get a chance to, like, find or fire. Fighting over. <laughs> That's the cool thing about Raul. He seems to be a hell of a shot. We'll see how it goes, though. Almost there. Yep, we got some uh, friendly peoples. We got a fenced in area with a house. We are here at Jacobstown. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. Why do some of the super mutants here dislike the NCR? Blood between super mutants and humans goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. What well, it makes the NCR too ambitious? They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it, eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Anything else you can tell me about the NCR? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. You have any dealings with New Vegas? Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Talk about something else. Same any rules I need to know? Town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. 
Nike so the Nike is schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons they <coughs> settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Goodbye. Alright, guys. Thank you for hanging with me. I will catch you on the next Fallout in Vegas. Have a good night.